silent four-legged machines armed with automatic rifles are reshaping ground tactics in unprecedented ways. Today's video dives into China's People's Liberation Army orchestrating live drills with rifle-carrying robotic dogs, moving alongside infantry across rugged mountain passes near the northern border. We'll reveal how these agile platforms navigate uneven terrain rapidly, sync seamlessly with airborne drones for real-time intelligence, capturing high-definition video and laser-designated coordinates. The technical prowess on display hints at a future where human squads move in lockstep with autonomous partners, each amplifying the other's strengths. These aerial feeds merged with the robot's thermal and optical sensors at a command node, creating a unified operational picture, exposing them to hidden risks. Now, robotic scouts leap ahead. Historically, reconnaissance missions meant sending soldiers into unknown terrain first. In urban-style training compounds, Compact robots navigated narrow corridors and stairwells, areas notoriously perilous for human teams. Their threat recognition software locked onto mannequin targets. The PLA is shifting from siloed, human-centric tactics to integrate man-machine teams, mapping building interiors and transporting medical supplies under realistic threat scenarios by embedding specialized robotic detachments within traditional units. In the United States, Robotics efforts center on service roles, Boston Dynamics spot inspects infrastructure, surveys hazardous sites, and supports logistics, favoring hybrid platforms and rugged designs. Since late 2024, Ukrainian brigades have repurposed commercial robot dogs for frontline tasks, scouting urban ruins, America's cautious, human-in-the-loop model, Russia's hybrid robustness, and Ukraine's rapid tech adaptation highlight diverging philosophies about autonomy and accountability. As fielded systems proliferate, international norms and arms control agreements must evolve to address targeting protocols, operator safeguards, and responsibility for autonomous actions. By focusing on unarmed missions, China's public drills challenge peers to innovate within ethical and legal frameworks or risk ceding ground in next-generation warfare. The coming years will reveal whether a collaborative ethos emerges, standardizing safety measures and data, sharing, or whether competition drives an arms control vacuum that pushes autonomous systems to the forefront of global security debates. Its Iran 9 tracked vehicles, armed with auto cannons and anti tank missiles, have seen limited training deployments. Quadruped prototypes exist, but lack the visibility and scale of Chinese demonstrations. Russia's robotics research, driven by a legacy of unmanned mine clearance and nuclear incident response, underscores a preference for multipurpose systems resistant to harsh environments. Despite experimental weapon mounts, U.S. doctrine remains cautious, emphasizing remote operation and mandatory human approval before any engagement, reflecting stringent safety and ethical standards. Commanders can accelerate decision-making maintain constant pressure on simulated adversaries, and reduce personnel exposure in the most hazardous tasks. Each drill generates data on gait stability, targeting accuracy, and sensor fusion, which feeds iterative AI updates, refining performance for future operations, aligning weapons, and holding aim until operators gave the go-ahead, unlocking capabilities that neither could achieve alone, creating multi-domain task forces that blend air and ground autonomy and even neutralize simulated dangers, all while minimizing risk to human teammates. Higher-level command centers will orchestrate cohesive actions across all platforms, using AI-driven analytics to predict terrain challenges, optimize asset allocation, and choreograph complex maneuvers. The result? A force structure where human judgment and robotic resilience combine. This capability allows robots to perform entry sweeps, identify potential ambush points, rather than traditional indirect fire for mortars or grenade launchers, rerouting both manned and unmanned units on the fly, granting unprecedented situational awareness. Robotic dogs deliver rapid, calculated bursts from their mounted rifles. During drills, infantry teams simulated holding defensive positions on rocky ledges, while robotic partners provided real-time supporting fire at lower elevations. This on-call fire support frees soldiers to concentrate on maneuvering or securing key objectives, confident that their robotic allies will hold simulated threats at bay. 
Venturing into high-risk zones equipped with high-resolution cameras and thermal imagers that beam live data back to platoon leaders. In one exercise, the robots mapped a narrow mountain corridor, relaying 3D terrain models that allowed infantry to choose safer approach routes without initial human exposure. Commanders monitored live mosaics of the exercise zone. This fusion of air and ground assets shrank decision loops from minutes to mere seconds and signal a powerful shift toward networked unmanned systems. Stay tuned to learn how this marks a new era of human-robot teamwork. China's latest exercises took place in a remote, mountainous region just inside its northern frontier, involving the PLA's 76th Group Army and cutting-edge quadruped robots. Each robot runs an advanced autonomy suite that fuses data from LiDAR scanners, inertial measurement units, and stereoscopic cameras. This sensor array constantly maps the environment. The automatic rifles deliver precise, adjustable bursts at simulated targets, pinpointing obstacles and calculating optimal foot placements in under 0.2 seconds. Observers noted one unit seamlessly transitioned from a trot to a deliberate crawl. Upon encountering loose scree, an action that would test even the most seasoned human trooper, the split-second responsiveness underscores China's investment in onboard processing power and real-time decision-making algorithms, filling critical gaps. Picture a squad of infantry scaling steep, rocky slopes. At their side, compact robotic dogs, each weighing around 20 kilograms and fitted with lightweight automatic rifles. Keep perfect pace, sprinting up inclines exceeding 30 degrees and sidestepping boulders without missing a beat. These machines rely on sturdy aluminum titanium exoskeletons designed to endure extreme temperatures and harsh handling, ensuring mission continuity even under difficult conditions. Beneath their sleek frames, weapon integration took mobility a step further. In one scenario, infantry teams seized a ridge while the robotic dogs provided suppressive precision, covering their advance from lower elevations. This choreography required ultra-low latency communication, operators issuing firing commands from remote stations. The robots are adjusting their aim in milliseconds and executing controlled bursts that match the pace of human movement. Such coordination elevates the concept of force multiplier, allowing fewer soldiers to achieve objectives with robotic support. Overhead, small rotary wing drones patrolled the skies. From rough terrain agility and dynamic obstacle avoidance to integrated support fire and networked operations, these drills demonstrate a leap in ground robotics. The PLA-S armed robotic dogs are more than novel demos. They wreak catalysts for a fundamental shift in how ground forces operate. Precision suppression is another role these machines master. Close quarters support took the transformation even further. Behind these capabilities lies a broader doctrinal evolution. Looking ahead, we can expect these robot dogs to work in concert with drone swarms. Global Robotics Race, China's bold step into armed robotic dog exercises places it at the vanguard of ground robotics, but it's just one piece in a worldwide competition. Russia pursues a different path. Ukraine offers a striking counterpoint, practicality over proliferation. These distinct approaches, China's systemic integration of armed quadrupeds, America's cautious, human-in-the-loop model, Russia's hybrid robustness, and Ukraine's rapid tech adaptation highlight diverging philosophies about autonomy and accountability. As fielded systems proliferate, international norms and arms control agreements must evolve to address targeting protocols, operator safeguards, and responsibility for autonomous actions. In this accelerating race, China's public drills challenge peers to innovate within ethical and legal frameworks or risk ceding ground in next-generation warfare. The coming years will reveal whether a collaborative ethos emerges standardizing safety measures and data sharing, or whether competition drives an arms control vacuum that pushes autonomous systems to the forefront of global security debates. Thank you for watching.